I'm making a Dollar Tree recipe and these are the ingredients. This recipe costs $5. Each ingredient that you see costs a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I am calling this recipe pizza noodles. And the reason why I'm calling it pizza noodles is because we have olives, mushrooms, and peppers. And these are three toppings that I really enjoy on my pizza. And then we also have tomato sauce. Um, this is typical pasta sauce, and if we wanna turn this into pizza sauce, we're gonna add some oregano and thyme. So the oregano and thyme, we're not counting that in the $5. We're only using such a little bit of each, and they are standard spices that most people tend to have. If you don't have them, you don't have to use them. It'll taste fine without them. And then instead of putting the sauce and the toppings on a pizza crust, we're putting them on noodles instead. And this is a one pound, eight ounce box of pasta. So one pound of pasta is 16 ounces and if we add eight ounces to that we have 24 ounces of pasta. Now Dollar Tree also sells bags of egg noodles and originally I was thinking of making this with those but there's only 12 ounces of egg noodles in a bag and you get 24 ounces of pasta in this box. So we're getting double the amount of noodles for the same exact price so it's a much better deal whenever you're buying noodles or pasta in the dollar tree always look to see which box or which bag is giving you the best value for your money and this was the largest box that they had you can even see that it says 50 percent more free on top so the first thing i am going to do is start boiling a large pot of water and then cook the pasta now i did want to say one other thing this recipe is going to easily serve four to six people potentially even more but normally one pound of pasta will feed four people. And since this is basically a pound and a half, this should serve six people. So this is going to be a recipe that actually serves the amount of people that it says it serves. I've been watching some Dollar Tree recipe videos recently and the people making the video say, oh yeah, this serves six to eight people. But the reality of it is, if you were trying to serve six people, everyone would get maybe a quarter cup of food. And if I was only getting a quarter cup of food, I would be going to bed hungry. So this is going to make a lot of food. It's going to easily serve four to six people. I'm using a large pasta pot. I have it on high heat right now and I'm going to bring this to a boil. And while this is coming up to a boil, I'm going to start preparing my other ingredients. Let's take a look at the olives. These are firm, plump, and juicy ripe olives. These are medium-sized olives and the brand is Bell's. The ingredients in these olives are ripe olives, water, salt, and ferrous gluconate added to stabilize color. So this is a healthy, clean product. Serving size is five olives, servings per container about 11, calories 25, calories from fat 20, total fat 2.5 grams, zero cholesterol, sodium 115 milligrams, that's not bad, total carbohydrate one gram, protein zero. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to rinse these off and then I am going to slice these up. These are the olives. I rinse them in a colander just to get some of the sodium off. And what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to cut these in halves and possibly even quarters. So I've decided I am only going to cut these in halves. The olives are small and I think that's a, that's a good size. And if we want it to be really quick about it, we don't even need to cut them. I mean, they really just break apart really easily like that. It's much easier to do it that way. Just give them a squeeze and they break right in half. Super easy. Now that the olives are all cut in half, I am going to put these in a bowl and set them aside. The next ingredient that we have is this jar of pampa mushrooms, pieces, and stems. This is a 10 ounce 
uh, jar. The ingredients in here are mushrooms, water, salt, citric acid, and ascorbic acid. So this is another natural healthy food. Uh, it says there is about one serving per container. Serving size is half of a cup, calories 30. Total fat 0.5 grams, zero cholesterol, 520 milligrams of sodium. So we're definitely going to be rinsing these and hoping to get some of that sodium out. Uh, total carbs is 3 grams, dietary fiber 3 grams, zero sugars, and 3 grams of protein. So I'm going to rinse these, and since these are already pieces and stems, we're just going to put these in the bowl and set them aside also. Here is our bowl with our olives and mushrooms, and the next thing I'm going to do is get the peppers ready. This is a jar of red sweet pepper strips. The brand is Bellina's Gourmet, and the ingredients in here are bell pepper, water, vinegar, sugar, garlic, sunflower oil, and salt. So it's another healthy, clean food. And on the back, we see the serving size. So there's about two servings per container, 70 calories per serving, 1.5 grams of fat, zero saturated fat, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, Sodium, 680 milligrams of sodium. So we are gonna be draining and rinsing these. Total carbohydrate, 14 grams. Dietary fiber, two grams. Sugars, 10 grams. And protein, one gram. And here we have our bowl of ingredients, our bowl of pizza toppings. We have the olives, the mushrooms, and the peppers. They look so good. They look so colorful. I can't wait to add them to the pasta with the sauce and then eat this meal. Let's look at our pasta sauce. This is Prego Italian sauce, classic pasta sauce. This is an 18.5 ounce can. Let's check out the ingredients. They are tomato puree, which is water and tomato paste, water, sugar, and it contains less than 2% of wheat flour, modified food starch, salt, vegetable oil, which is corn, canola, and or soybean, spices, citric acid, onion extract, and garlic extract. The only ingredient here that worries me is spices because companies can hide MSG in the name spices and I have a bad reaction to MSG. So I try to avoid foods that contain MSG. And whenever I see the word spices in a list of ingredients, I just don't really trust it. So um, this is also from the Campbell Soup Company. And I know Campbell's Soup uh, uses a lot of MSG in their products. And it says it is partially produced with genetic engineering. For information about GMO ingredients, visit what'sinmyfood.com. Now, I am definitely not a fan of GMOs or genetic engineering. But because we are making a Dollar Tree recipe and because there were not many options for sauce in the Dollar Tree today, uh, that's why I'm using this. I don't really plan on eating the sauce on a regular basis. I think we all know that when food is on sale at local supermarkets or even big box stores, you can get prices on sauce that are just as good as the Dollar Tree. There were two other sauce options at the Dollar Tree today. One had a bunch of cheese in it and this meal is a vegan meal. So there's no cheese in it. There's no animal products of any kind. It's very, very healthy. And the other one had high fructose corn syrup in it and we don't like consuming high fructose corn syrup. So based on the three choices we had, this was the best option. Now let's look at the nutrition facts. It says serving size is a half of a cup, servings per container about four. Calories 70, calories from fat 5, total fat 0.5 grams, no saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, sodium 600 milligrams. And that is why I've been rinsing the sodium out of the other ingredients because there's plenty of sodium in here. Total carbohydrate 14 grams, dietary fiber 1 gram, sugars 9 grams, protein 1 gram. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to open this can. I'm going to taste this sauce and I'm gonna see what kind of spices do I need to add the oregano and the thyme and if I do I'm gonna taste it again when I taste this sauce it's very much a pasta sauce we want to make it taste a little bit more like pizza 
So I am going to add some oregano and some thyme. I'm not measuring these, I'm just kind of adding them. That's about a half of a teaspoon, I would think. And maybe another half of a teaspoon of the thyme. Again, I'm not measuring. Gonna mix that in. To really combine the flavors, we should be heating this up in like a saucepan. But I just want to get a general, general idea right now. It definitely needs more. There's another half teaspoon of oregano. and another half teaspoon of thyme. I'm going to add one other thing to the sauce and that is just a little bit of red wine vinegar. Now you don't have to, it's perfectly fine how it is, but I feel like this sauce is a little too sweet for me. And by adding the vinegar, it's gonna cut down on the sweetness of the sauce. I'm gonna stir that in. I would say that was maybe, what, a teaspoon of vinegar? I used red wine vinegar. You could probably use cider vinegar or, or balsamic vinegar. Okay, let's taste this again. Now it really tastes more like a pizza sauce. The pasta has been cooking for 12 minutes and it is perfectly done right now. So I'm gonna drain it and then return it to the pot. The pasta has been drained and it's back in the cooking pot. And now I'm going to add sauce to the pasta. And we're gonna mix this together. That looks really good. So basically this is like the pizza crust and the pizza sauce. Now we're gonna add our pizza toppings. We have our red pepper and our mushroom and our olives. And now we're gonna mix all of this together. This looks really good and I wish you could smell how yummy it smells. So right now I'm going to put this burner back on low heat and I'm just gonna make sure everything is heated through since the toppings and the sauce uh, were not hot. I'm just gonna cook this for a little while until everything is nice and warm and then it is ready to be served. And I hope you can tell what a big pot of food this is. This easily serves four people very large portions. It can even serve five or six people standard portions. I've just scooped some out into a bowl and this is what I'm eating for dinner tonight. It looks so good. And look at all of this pasta that's still left in the pot. I'm actually gonna cover it right now. It looks so good, so let's taste this now. This is like restaurant quality. This tastes better than when I order Italian takeout. The sauce almost has a creamy-like consistency. So when you drain your pasta and then return it to the pot, and then when you add your sauce and then kind of reheat it, and the sauce combines with the pasta, you can see how nicely everything is evenly coated. All of the pasta is like perfectly coated with the sauce, and it almost becomes kind of like creamy. It almost tastes like it has more fat in it than it does. This is a very low fat meal. 
So it's a very healthy meal. It's a very high carb meal, which is what we want because the human brain needs more than 120 grams of carbs a day to function. So all these people that are on low carb diets, uh, there's a reason why uh, they have horrible mood swings. There's a reason why uh, they deal with uh, fatigue and depression and things like that. It's because your brain needs carbs to function. Our bodies require carbohydrates to function. And if you don't have enough carbs, if you're not eating a high carb diet, you're not gonna be functioning at peak efficiency. This is also a vegan meal. So uh, there are no animal products at all. That makes it really healthy. There's also no high fructose corn syrup. There's no MSG. Uh, there's no soy in here. Other than maybe, um, I think one of the ingredients might have had some soybean oil, but that was like way down the list of ingredients. This is like one of the healthiest meals you can make with ingredients that you can buy from the Dollar Tree. Now, obviously, if you wanted to, you could add some grated cheese to the top of it or some other kind of cheese that you like. I prefer to eat it without cheese to have a, a nice vegan meal, but it's always an option. This definitely reminds me a lot of eating a slice of vegetable pizza with like olives, mushrooms, and peppers. Really good. I ate that first bowl and it was so good that I'm having another second big bowl. And there's still a ton of pasta in this pot. This definitely serves five or six people. It is now the following day and I am having lunch and the leftover pasta is excellent mixed with some fresh arugula and some balsamic vinegar. I mean, look at the salad. Look how amazing this looks. No one would ever know that the majority of this is from the Dollar Tree. I mean, everything here is from the Dollar Tree except the arugula. And at Trader Joe's, you could get a big bag of fresh arugula for only $1.99. This lunch is only costing me a dollar. If anyone tells you you can't eat healthy on a budget, don't believe them.